Hi everyone, it's Microwave Sam, and today's tutorial is going back to how to fix the green screen preview on Sony Vegas programs. Now I did this tutorial way back, and it didn't seem to fix a lot of your problems, so I'm going to use this more popular method to fix the green screen preview. So I'm going to experiment with this file.mp4 that I have that generates a green screen preview on my program, Sony Vegas 12. But this solution should work with all Sony Vegas versions. Now, when you look at the video, it will generate a green screen, which is a problem. And when you render this video, it will also contain the green screen. So you won't see anything, which is a huge issue. Now, I had suggested to use a program called Handbrake, which re-encodes the video and outputs the same file extension type. But that didn't seem to work with everyone. So another solution uses QuickTime Player. So when you go to QuickTime Player, I'll leave this link in the description. Apple has a program called QuickTime that's like another type of Windows Media Player or VLC player. It plays videos and music. So if you hit the free download, uncheck the subscription box, and download now. You, you can save the executable file and I'll save it to my desktop. And this executable file is the setup file for QuickTime Player. And it's QuickTime 7. So you wait until that download is finished. Then you can open the executable. And you can run the setup. So I'm going to click the executable and run this setup. Now QuickTime Player will open up a prompt and you can hit next on the prompt that pops up. You have to put yes to agree to the terms and agreement. And then you can do a custom installation. QuickTime Essential, Player, and Web Plugins seem good. So, you can go next and then install. Now it's going to install the program, but it might take you know 30 seconds to a minute so you just have to wait until the installation finishes I'll speed up the video to show you when the installation is done okay cool the installation is done so right now you can just finish and you can hit no thanks I do not want to upgrade to pro at the moment and I can delete the executable setup file on my desktop because it's just a waste of space because I already installed the program and you want to reboot your computer at this moment so go ahead and reboot your computer now after you're rebooting your computer you want to open file explorer and then go to the local disk C drive you want to go into program files then you want to go to Sony after going into Sony, you want to open up the Vegas Pro folder of your latest version. I have 12.0. Then you want to go to File I.O. Plugins. And then you want to rename Compound Plug. So rename Compound Plug and add an extra G to the end. And then enter. So after doing that, you can X out of the File Explorer and open up Vegas Pro 12.0. It's the moment of truth. So after open up Vegas Pro, we're gonna drop in our file.mp4 and see if it actually works. Now we're gonna wait a second for Vegas Pro to boot up. I know that there's Vegas Pro 13 at the moment and in the future, they're gonna continually update, but I think the problem comes from the compound plugin. And if you rename that plugin, then the solution just seems to work on its own. The green screen is resolved. So after Vegas Pro opens, you can drop in your problem MP4 or MOV file and hopefully it works for you. If this solution doesn't work for you, I highly suggest you to use Handbrake. Hey, it works. So thanks for watching everyone. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me if it works. I'll try to get a better video if this solution did not work for you.